Hi everybody, it's Chris from Race Car Camp and today I have a nice snoozy Saturday rainy morning activity plan. This is my Mazda Speed Miata. It is a daily driver, but I want to set it up to do some track events and some autocross events and we finally have dialed the rest of the car in so it's now time to future proof it. Part of that future proofing is getting rid of this radiator. Nothing wrong with it today, it's just starting to turn that brownish greenish color. It'll probably even be hard to see in video, but that's sort of the telltale sign that your Miata radiator is nearing the end of its life. Now this is an 05, it doesn't owe anybody anything. This is an NB replacement radiator, and it works on all the NB chassis cars. The Mazda Speed radiator from the factory is a little different than the regular NB radiator. It has a little extra cooling capacity, but the aftermarket is all the same. It's a much thicker core as you can see. It's all aluminum construction and you'll see that as we take the material off. An install is super easy so this should be an hour job tops. What I'm really excited to show you is this funnel bucket. This is a new to me tool. I've used it maybe twice now and I don't know where it's been my whole life. This is probably going to be the most complicated part of this job. I'm just going to bring my bucket into position and this is the drain plug. Pop it out and everything will start leaking out gently at first and then I'll go up top and I'll take the cap off. Take the upper hose off. The lower hose is down here but we're going to let everything drain first before we take this off because there's always a little extra coolant in there. About five minutes of draining later, we're finally ready to get this hose clamp off. So slide it back. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to move my bucket over a little. I still want the, some residual drips to come out of the radiator and into the bucket. But we'll just take this off so that last little splash has somewhere to go. You see that? Every time you think you got it, there's more. With all the hoses disconnected, it's time to just lift the bad boy up. Now I've got to transfer the fans onto the new radiator before we put it back in. All these are on with a 10 millimeter. And if your car is anything like mine, you have a few tabs that are busted off. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but good time to replace it if you want to. Now we'll just put the pipe on, connect it on the lower side, and we're on the home stretch. Now we're going to set up the funnel bucket. This is the tool that I wanted to show you. because The bucket comes with all these adapter attachments. And the way it works is it goes into the radiator, and then they give you this fake cap. You tighten up the fake cap, and then you just put the bucket on top. This plunger you can put in once you overflow the bucket. Air is bubbling up and out of the system, and it's 
filling itself back up even though the radiator is full we're getting the air out of the lines and it will naturally suck it down in and i've already got this as a 50 50 mixture it's all less than a year old from when i did the timing belt and water pump Yeah. 